A sketchbook tour? Me? No. Yes. Today we're flipping through uh, my senior year sketchbook. Sad to say it is actually the only sketchbook I filled my senior year, but let's talk about that later and let's start looking through. Okay guys, so what you're looking at right here is a Stillman and Burn Zeta series mixed media sketchbook. I think this is like eight by 10 size. I've loved working in this. It really takes all media really well. I've been able to paint, use pencil, color pencil, markers, definitely recommend using uh, this brand. Anyway, so this is my sketchbook. So this is the opening page. Um, wrote my name in there. This is me, I shaved my head. Um, so this is, I think I went back into this later on. So this was like um, sometime in February, I think. And this is embarrassing. I accidentally spelled year wrong. So it says graduation year 2020. I did it in marker so I couldn't erase it. <laughs> Over here, we've got some thumbnails for a piece that I never ended up finishing, but I would still like to, honestly, because I just think it turned out pretty fun. But yeah, that's that. So some projects, you know, don't work out, but that's all right. Uh, we've got a little comic spread down here, some faces from my imagination, a mural that was gonna be painted or could have been painted in my old student gov office in high school, but because of the Rona, we got shut down, obviously. Um, these figure drawings were done from people I was stalking at Starbucks as they were working. Over on this page, we've got two figures right here. I think referenced just from Pinterest, some random stuff down there, um, some colored pencil stuff over here. Also probably referenced from Pinterest, trying out some new colors. And then down here we've got, um, I believe this is a screenshot from a Black Mirror episode. I didn't actually watch the episode, but they've got some pretty interesting shots cinematically in that show. So sometimes I go and I just screenshot things and I will just draw them. Um, or any other show on Netflix that kind of has some interesting cinematography. So I do that sometimes. Um, this is Rex Orange County. I believe his name is Alex. Um, I guess this was probably inspired by Keith Haring. Um, we got some Asian, or I don't know. We've got some foreign candy right here. I'm not sure where it's from. Um, over here, we have just a little doodle, ink, water-based markers. Here's a little ink sketch of a plant I used to have. It unfortunately died, but I uh, did a drawing, just an ink drawing of it, um, of a picture I had. And then over here, we've got a little ink and gouache painting, a um, little landscape right there. On this page, we have some doodles up here, some thumbnails, some project planning, and a little sketch oop, of a guy running that I turned digital. I like to do that a lot. You'll see in this sketchbook is draw things traditionally and then bring them into Procreate or Photoshop and finish them um, digitally. So over on the left here, we've got another cluttered room drawing. This is referenced from my room from a picture I took. So that was kind of fun to do and a lot of different colors. This was pretty different for me. Um, I tend to do oranges, yellows, reds, and blues. So this is kind of the opposite of that. Over here, we've got some characters that I did just for my head. I started doodling a lot in my notebooks at school in this kind of style, and I ended up really enjoying it. So I went ahead and I did a ton more in my sketchbook, and I really love them. I feel like they can all kind of be in the same world, and I don't know, they all look like really different people. So I had fun experimenting with that. Over on this page, this is a piece I did about school. Um, so of course, gotta love the education system. You know, I'm grateful for what I have, but it's not perfect. So this was a piece I did about that. If you wanna read more about it, you can look at the post on my Instagram, at uh, Matthew Sorgi. Um, but again, here's a good example of something I sketched traditionally, took a picture of and finished up in Procreate. Uh, over here, we have a little pencil study of a uh, photograph. I'm not gonna remember the photographer's name, but it's in this old American landscape book that I have. Over here is a room drawing of my dog, another mess. Uh, this I think was, uh, we were doing college apps, I think at this point, which is why I was upset about that. Um, I think that's a self-portrait. And then this is me and my friend. Over here we have a little portrait some personal stuff, some eyeballs, some fun colors, a frog, a little mask man doodle, and another cluttered space. This is my pencil case and some paints. And I like drew myself drawing it, which is kind of fun. I like doing that sometimes. Over here, more college app stress. I'm calm, not at all. Handle with care, don't bend. Lists and things, some of my favorite artists throughout the winter, some music I was listening to. Got Licky Licky, Pokemon, and a little Post Malone ink sketch down here. 
Over here, we have a fun figure playing basketball. Um, some fruits, these kind of look like they'd be in a video game almost, like obviously it's kind of like a pear and an apple, but reimagined just a little bit. Over here, we've got some ink sketches. So inspired by Kim jong Gi. I hope that's how you say his name, but his ink work is really freaking amazing. So I was inspired by his technique and I tried to try it out a little bit for myself, which I mean, it went okay. Obviously not like the way he does it because he's been doing that for years and he's really gifted um, and hardworking. Um, but I figured I'd give it a shot. Um, that continues into these pages over here from Christmas time. So this is my family baking some cookies and I drew myself drawing the cookies. So like I was here, right? And all this stuff was around me and I like drew an aerial shot of myself drawing. Um, over here, we've got Saxon and Sansa. So that's a fun decoration my family has. And he plays um, different songs if you put the card on his stand. Um, I saw Little Women, really good movie, Ford vs. Ferrari, and some Snoopy gift tags over here. This is another example of a pencil sketch that I turned digital, again, using Procreate. And you can do it a couple different ways. You can just take a good picture of it if you have good lighting, or you can scan it if you've got a scanner at home, and then just bring it in. And then I usually go in and multiply layers, and then I'll go over that to clean things up. Um, some newspaper clippings, um, some random pop-ins. I ended up, this is from Protein Magazine, so I ended up getting featured in there. It was, <laughs> they used my illustrations for an article about hoarding, so some of my mishmash illustrations are in there, which is pretty fun. Some random stuff, got a little figure drawing on the left, and a still life to the right, which was never finished. I think my favorite part is just these um, marks back here with the shadows from the plant. I enjoy doing that. Uh, over here we have another still life study, this time from Jose Nagashi. Again, I'm not really sure if I'm saying that right, so I feel really bad, but his pencil and charcoal work is really outstanding, so I figured I would try and do a little study. He just captures planes in a really great way. He just has a really good awareness of what makes something look three-dimensional, um, so I really like studying his work. Um, more landscapey figure doodles, some sketches up here, and um, this girl's on a boat. Over here, we have another charcoal flower drawing to the right, which didn't really turn out so great. That's okay. And uh, my friend Chris playing basketball, I just kept a uh, little clipping from a high school article. This is a painting. You guys probably saw this video. If you didn't, it's on my channel. You can kind of see my process for this. I use colored pencils and paint. And then in here, we've got a pepper, another self-portrait. I really drew myself a lot this year, which is kind of weird. Um, some TikTok sounds on board in the house, an in-house board, little figure, and another, yep, another one. Another room messy sketch. Um, this is kind of funky, nothing crazy about that. Just kind of being loose and having fun there. Um, this, these are the Peachtree Rascals, really awesome band. You probably know their song Mariposa. They've got tons of other songs though too, so definitely check them out. Um, again, traditional sketch, digital rendering. And behind here we've got a little storyboard for a gingerbread animation I'm gonna hopefully have done for Christmas. That's one of my goals this year. Um, some project planning that never went through. Another self-portrait. Over here we've got some figure drawings under here that I can't show you or else I'll be demonetized, but you gotta draw the bot if you wanna improve in your figure drawing. So that's just a must. Just can't show it on the tube. Sorry guys. Uh, over here we've got Lunch Money Lewis. Such a fun artist. I love all of his music. Um, and here's a photo of him with his turtle. He's a really cool guy. On the left side here, we've got a postcard from my friend Tina. Thank you again, Tina, for that. Um, top left, a little sketch that I did for a quarantine drawing. And then on the right, just some journal entries and some photos I did of me and my friends from the summer. On the left, we've got my parents' happy 25th anniversary drawing. So we, me and my sisters got them this bouquet of flowers and they were really nice. And then the next morning I ended up drawing them. So I'm happy with the way that turned out. To the right, we've got some quick marker faces, um, just kind of going with the flow on those. Farmer frog and some doodles down here, just with some markers. Uh, more doodles on the left side here, some lizards, a heart face, just some random stuff. And then this was a fun marker sketch I did of me in the back seat with my sister driving. Don't remember where we were going, but I did have fun using some big bold colors on that guy. This stuff is all from vacation. So we went to Rhode Island this year. Uh, this is my sister reading at the beach. Two old ladies chilling, talking by the water. 
We got a tree, Block Island, a uh, little face, this is just from my head, and then a quick drawing of me and my sister in a pickup truck. Over here, we have um, a sketch, a marker sketch. This was the view from the front porch. So you had some summer houses and the water was actually behind here at the ocean. So this was fun and pretty quick to do as well. And then I ended up not drawing on the back of that page, which is kind of sad. I think that's the only page in here that wasn't really drawn on. But I almost took this out of here, which is why I never drew on it. Anyways, I finished my sketchbook with a little self-portrait. Uh, this one I think I did, uh, I opened up Photo Booth on my laptop and was like looking at myself on there, almost more like a mirror. So it's a little wonky. I did it pretty quick, I think with gouache, I wanna say. Um, so it's a little funky, but it was fun to do. And yeah, I guess that's kind of it. That's the whole thing. It's a thin guy this year. My back hurts, so I'm in bed now. But what I wanna say is um, about my senior year and why I wasn't drawing so much. So I kind of went on a little downhill for a while after feeling like I was going like this for a long time, all throughout middle school and high school. So after taking AP art twice, a lot of the fun about art was kind of ripped out of me and I started not to enjoy it, which kind of sucked. Um, and then going into my senior year, I decided not to take an art class at all, mostly because I just wanted to find the love for it again. And I was tired of making art for other people, college board, uh, my teacher, whatever it was, I was tired of it. So I took kind of a break and I didn't put any pressure on myself and I kind of was just seeing where things would go and trying not to hate it anymore. So I really didn't draw that much. You know, I have other drawings that are digital or loose drawings that aren't in a sketchbook, but I really didn't draw that much. And it's kind of sad and I feel bad about it, but at the same time, I'm in a much better place now with my art and kind of getting over that burnout slash I don't know, art block, I don't really love that term. But yeah, if you're feeling like that and you're struggling the way I was struggling, it's okay, number one, realize that that's normal and we have natural ups and downs, life is not consistent, um, creativity is not consistent. So if you need to take the time to relax and take the pressure off and try something new or try nothing at all and just, you know, what do they say? Separation is like the best medicine or something, or, um, Love goes stronger when it's, um, I don't know, like when you're apart, like things are better. You know, it's like, <laughs> I can't think of the expression, but when, you know, you have some time apart for it and you come back to it, you'll appreciate it more. So, um, so yeah, if you're going through something tough, you're upset, you're not loving the art lately, just give it a break and like, don't worry about it. So that's my advice to you. Hopefully you like this video. Um, yeah, more art to come. This is a five week streak. I'm very excited to be here with you guys for this long already. Uh, I got a lot of stuff planned for this year. Obviously, I keep saying this in every video, but um, yeah. Um, so if you want, you can like, subscribe, whatever you want to do, that's up to you. Um, I'll see you guys soon next Friday. Bye. Oh, and if you want, I still have prints in my shop that you can buy. MatthewSorgi.com and uh